haven't view. <laughs> the tender down there. It's nice and warm. I can't see anything. I'm not sure how it's going to work on the sailing trip I'm due to go on. Let's see the tender. Mm. Anyway, this is Newport, Rhode Island. I have no idea if I'm looking at land. There might be land there, maybe. Oh, there's a tender coming. Um, there. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm sure it's beautiful. Morning. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll have just seen the balcony. Um, it's a bit misty, a bit foggy. It's very warm though, it's not cold. Um, so in Newport, which is one of the sm this is in Rhode Island, which I think is the smallest state in the US. Um, it's famous for its sailing. It's apparently known as the capital, the sailing capital of the world. So I booked a, a Shuna trip, a sailing trip. I'm not sure it's going to go with the visibility like that. <laughs> um, I think you know there's supposed to be really posh houses here that the um, Americans have on the coast. I think, um, I think Jeff, no, I think Jackie Kennedy grew up here in some big posh house, but I think they had a house here as well. And it was going to show us all that in the history from sailing along the coast and showing you the shore. If we can't see the shore, I'm not sure it's going to go. But hey, I'm on holiday and it's warm out and it's not raining. You can see a bug that's got in. A fly. Whoa, <laughs> tried to catch it. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'll show you what happens on my day. I'm gonna go and um, get some breakfast and then I'm going to, well, see if my short excursion goes. And if it doesn't, I have priority um, tender because of my princess loyalty. So I'll just go ashore and have a wander around. Um, and that would be a refund as well, if it happens, all good. <laughs> um, of course, I'd like to go on a sailing boat, but nah, we'll see. Okay, I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> I'm out on the prom deck. Visibility is a bit better now. Ah, that lighthouse there was in the brochure. I'm assuming there's a bridge there. There's probably a suspension bridge. <laughs> it's in the mist. Oh, I can't wait to walk around this later. I've got my rain jacket ready. They told me to bring it along. It's nice and warm. A boat coming here. Right, I've got to go and meet my excursion and go to the loo and then.
It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. We have a blue heron in, in our vintage. I could have been outside, and there it was. It's, it's my niece. Yeah, another find of flamingos in Ohio. I don't think my priority ticket on the tender works on the way back. Look at all these people! It doesn't happen on Seabourn and Silver Sea. <laughs> oh well. I wouldn't mind queuing. Like queuing, you know, whatever, it's normal, you have to do it. But it's just not moving. <laughs> the people are all in the same position and it just goes around the corner. Down there. And the, the top is way over there. Like, I understand queuing can't move constantly with tenders because it's, well, I don't know, what, 100 people? No, 50 people? I don't know on a tender. But at least it should move a bit in about, mm, I've been here about 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh dear. This morning they seem to have one, um, one tender, no. This morning they seem to have, well, they had three tender decks. And I think, oh, about two or three going from each deck. 
Now they seem to just have one. <laughs> one boat going back and forth on the ship. I, like, all, I think the problem was really that all, well, some of the excursions came back at the same time. But mine didn't because I've been walking around in town. But some of the coaches all came back at the same time, I think, and then there's the queue. And then they must think it's a quiet time, so they're only one, one, one tender. I can see it, it's here at the moment. Hopefully they'll let people on it and the queue will move. I mean, luckily it's not rainy and it's not too hot, so I don't mind just sitting here and waiting for the queue to go down. Um, I'm not going to join the queue because I'm well aware of the irony now, I'm complaining about the queue, but I can hear them from here all complaining about the queue. So I don't want to listen to that. Um, yeah, it's a pleasant day. I mean, it looks like the rain's coming in from over there. But, you yeah, know, I'm waterproof. I've actually, because I went on a boat trip, yacht trip, like this morning, I was told to bring my raincoat with me, so I've got it tied, my, right, well, tied around my waist. So, if it does rain, I'll be all right. And my passport's in the safe, nice and dry on the ship. So that was the only thing I was worried about in New York, getting wet, my passport. Anything else I didn't mind. <laughs> Phone's waterproof. Insta 360 is waterproof, I'm waterproof. Um, credit cards will cope with the rain. But passport I was worried about, but passport was fine and passport is dry and safe on the ship right now, so that's good. Yeah, oh, on our boat today actually, all the local people from upstate New York have been watching the weather forecast and the latest hurricane. Um, it's still a category, oh, there's a crew member going past for pizza. Oh, there's pizza on the ship, it's pretty damn good. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, upstate New Yorkers and the crew on the yacht where they're talking and discussing about the Category 5 storm that's currently a brewing. Um, and apparently it's heading for Halifax, which is where I'm also heading for. So I'm not sure if that will happen. We'll see. You know, safety first. If it doesn't happen, doesn't happen. I'd love to come and do one of these East Coast cruises again and bring Mr. No Cruise Control. It's nice. Lovely places. Um, yeah, on that note, I will keep queuing. You see, even when I've been yakking away to you here, the queue has not moved. Not an inch. <laughs> oh well. The queue has, however, joined me back here. It goes all the way around. <laughs> oh well. Hello, I've got red lipstick to match my red face. I, yeah, sun cream was on, but I think I must have sweated it off. Um, nice, classy. Um, yes, anyway, um, it is formal night. I am dressed formally. <laughs> I have my Kitty Joseph dress on and skirt on, rather. Whee! If you can see the colours, you don't want to see my belly, but yeah so it's very colorful it's um all the colors of the rainbow and more <laughs> um so i'm going to go and watch the captain's champagne fountain welcome on board thingy um have my ocean medallion and my watch strap thing um yeah really nice day in rhode island uh newport rhode island I've never been to Rhode Island before or Newport. Um, we're now sailing to Boston and we get to Boston tomorrow morning. And I have a trip to Harvard and other places. Um, I can't remember where else I go, but yes, looking forward to that. Never been to Boston before um, or Massachusetts, the state. Uh, another new place for me, so that'd be good. And yeah. Um, Going to the Crown Grill for my dinner, so I will show you the food there. And um, 
I might go to the theatre too. <laughs> I just had some post. Oh, the light is shining. Let me close this a bit. I mean, it's lovely. It's the sunset, but um, just had some post pushed under my door. Debark information. I've spent one night on board so far. <laughs> That's the quickest I've ever had debark information. Um, I'd like to enjoy the cruise first. <laughs> I don't want to think about getting off next Saturday. It's not even Monday yet. <laughs> Here is the, the bright sunshine that was shining through. It's not so bright out here. It was beautiful. We're sailing that way. I'm up on deck 14. The top deck, I think, for cabins. I need to blow a minute to 360 on here. Yeah, it's going to be a nice sunset. I'm going to the piazza to watch the captain's welcome on board. I love that welcome on board from him. Yeah, his admin team are sending me letters to get off. <laughs> no, I adjust. They've got to do lots of organisation and I can't begin to imagine the organisation they need to do. I hope you had a being a beautiful day. What a fun, fun time out there. That tender was an excursion in itself, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully you got some great photos of the Emerald Princess on your way back as well, and photos of your excursions. But now we're back, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time at Captain Champagne Waterfall Ceremony, make some noise. So welcome first timers, welcome, welcome. In attendance, of course, is Golden Moon. Please uh, give them a big round of applause. Your party band, Golden Moon, dressed to the nines, absolutely amazing. Again, I am your cruise director, Fernando Duran, and it is my pleasure to invite you to today's Captain Champagne Waterfall Ceremony. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please help me welcome Director of Restaurant Operations, Carlos. Come on now, Carlos, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you, sir. I like, I like the fact that you just welcomed me in and I've been there the whole time, but that's a big No, 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 see, people can't see you unless the light's on you. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, it's like uh, Harry Potter's Invisible Club. Uh, well, look at this! I know, I know, isn't it amazing? It actually looks like a real thing. What do you mean? Ten! Princess. 
on behalf of Princess Cruise and uh, the entire ship's company, it is my great privilege tonight to uh, formally welcome you on board. I must take a moment to acknowledge the elegance and the charm of all ladies on board tonight. Well done. But of course, in general, make quite an effort. Well, on board uh, the uh, Emerald Princess, we got... Uh, let me check... 2,780 passengers and uh, 1,158 crew. Well done, well done. I would like to introduce all of them to you, but uh, I think that will take some time. So I'm uh, just introduced to you my senior officer. I would like to start with uh, my second in command, the staff captain all the way from Italy, Maurizio. In charge of the hotel department, hotel general manager all the way from Italy, Riccardo. In charge of all technical department, the chief engineer, all the way from Croatia, Pino. And the staff engineer, all the way from Italy, Andrea. And the staff electrical technical officer, all the way from Ukraine, Diego. In charge of all guest service director, all the way from Sweden, Lisa. Now the ladies that make sure that all uh, the rooms and uh, the Emerald Princess is uh, speaker plan. Uh, the room division manager, Lucy, all the way from United Kingdom. <laughs> and doctor, doctor is not here. Right? <laughs> Is Sisi? Doctor is Sisi. <laughs> and now the FMB director, all the way from South Africa, Guy. <laughs> and now our entertainment director, all the way from Australia, Matthew. <laughs> And on board, we care about our crew. Of course, we have uh, our human resource manager all the way from South Africa, Farah. <laughs> and it looks strange, but on the Princess Cruise, we think green. So we have an environmental officer all the way from Aruba, Jeremy. <laughs> And of course, our executive chef, all the way from Germany, Guido. Yeah. And last but not least, our director of a restaurant operation, all the way from Portugal, Carlos. Yeah. Did they miss anybody? No. Of course, our cruise director, Fernando. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are only on day two of this cruise. Uh, a few more days to go. We have uh, four uh, new ports to visit. Uh, today, I hope you enjoy Porta. This morning was a bit foggy, but then we are up. Uh, and once again, if you hear the whistle tonight, don't be stressed because it's uh, our whistle for fog. It's very common here in this uh, part of the world. So we will visit uh, tomorrow Boston, then Rockland, then uh, St. John, all the way to Halifax and come back to uh, New York. At the moment the weather looks good, so we are monitoring all these depressions that are around, but I will keep you posted. So please enjoy, relax, and uh, take your time to do a show. And once again, relax. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the time to enjoy. And uh, ciao for now. Let me say it just